I'm going to make today an exception and talk a little bit longer. So if you want to go directly to the song, then I encourage you to open up the description box, see the more, and then there will be a link to directly to the minutes where you can click directly to the song. I'm going to play an original song by myself today called Grow Where You Are. And this song was written in 2016 in the fall. That was probably the beginning of me thinking beyond labels, beyond who I am as a foreigner in a country that is not my native speaking language, that is not my native every day and still call myself a world citizen and be. And I'm growing and learning where I am, where I am geographically in life, age-wise, and just wherever I am in life. The past weeks were filled with discussions about those labels again, though. I am Asian, living in Europe. I am... I have grown up in China, so I really live between the worlds. I look to the States for the hate crimes happening and the discussion that is being held. I have conversations with my closest friends about, is this really hate crime? Is this not? Is racism happening here or not? I realize I don't usually share all that much and I put down this specific sentiment into this song as well that especially as an Asian foreigner I think we're often taught to kind of keep quiet and just do our thing and what they probably also say in the modern minority that people should be doing just work and then integrate and all will be well and you will be successful. But what will happen if, first of all, as an Asian, but then also as a female, you might be targeted, you might be fetishized, you might be racially profiled? What if you are fearful for your life at some point? I just want to share a little bit of something that happened to me personally last year. I said I was sad about what I encountered, but never shared what I really encountered. And I don't think specifically this is in Zurich city. So bear in mind that I am not pointing to anyone specific, but just this happened to me. When Corona first happened, um, I was clearly being avoided in public transport. I take the train to work every day. I took the train to work every day and realized by the week when the news was kind of uh, really breaking out how in China this was happening, a lot of people kind of just cleared my whole surroundings. Um, in, the, uh, in the area where I sat, no one sat. And I was... There were more jokes in meetings made about Asians and going to China as well, which I just played down as always because that's no news either. And then when the policies were really being implemented here, where there was a lockdown, there, were, there was this one specific trip that I made to a supermarket, which was like 500 meters from my house, where on that road up, I encountered three people who not only avoided me intentionally, and it's really just me because they avoided no one else, Caucasian, but only me. And we were all in masks and I tried to smile and say hello, which is what we do in Switzerland on the streets. They did not say hello back. That alone is okay, or just what it is. And I entered to a bus and this elderly gentleman saw me, went out and when the door closes, he pointed at me and screamed. Of course, there are a lot of, let's say, just insane people or people with intense feelings like that, which we cannot 
pinpoint to racism along. But after that supermarket trip, I asked my friends and neighbors then to shop for me for two weeks because I really couldn't deal with it. I also heard from 20 plus years that I've been here more than one times when other people are greeted with, oh, where are you from? And if they're from like, let's say, I don't know, Scandinavia or uh, Latin America or somewhere else, it's more like um, every culture has their stereotypes, right? With me, what I get is, so you eat dogs and cats for dinner. And as a coping mechanism, I've always tried to smile it off and be polite and just think, okay, they don't know it any better and I just offer what I can offer and contribute constructively to the situation and constructively to the conversation and, and keep basically educating people that not all Chinese eat all kinds of animals and I have never and will never. But slowly it becomes a label that you cannot shake. It's like, and I don't contribute that to being Asian because that can happen to people with disabilities, people with what kind of sickness that people have stereotypes about. It's just the sheer fact that it's that label and it's put on me without me being able to defend myself or do anything. And then there comes the fact that I'm female on top of it. So I have to ask myself, although Europe is nowhere near that aggression state that the US is in, for me and also for the safety of my loved ones, as hard as we work, are we ever going to be really accepted here? Do I have to still fear for my life just based on how I look and the color of my skin? I know this is a long rant and there is no clear answer to this. Um, I don't want to, you know, stamp any country, any people, any, you know, specific city or geographic region or anything, because I actually think um, Europe is pretty still civil about a lot of these things. But I see it as my responsibility to speak up. Because, yes, in my culture, it's regarded wise to not say anything and to just keep quiet and keep going. And one day things will all clear itself. But things will not clear themselves if you don't make them even agenda diced. <laughs> if you don't even bring it on the table so that they can be discussed. What I realized this week talking with my best friends is that they don't even know the struggle that I go through because I never really tell. And not that I don't trust them, but they're just necessary discussions that I never opened up to share um, until now. And now I'm ready. And if you have any questions, ask me. I will tell you it's not appropriate to stereotype anyone <laughs> in meetings or on the streets or in anything, regardless if they're, you know, people with disabilities or sicknesses or of a certain race or of a certain country or anything. These are all just labels. We're all conditioned by a lot of different things. And I'm trying very hard to see everyone for who they are and to accept who they are and accept also that they can grow from where they are. And I hope everyone does the same. So again, this is my original song today that I'm playing. I played it, I think I'll put a description somewhere um, in the description box as well. First time um, at TEDx in 2017, TEDx um, Zuriberg. And an Indian speaker right after me then resonated so much with it that he brought it into his talk. I was very moved by that because I think especially people who moved countries can resonate with that kind of message. And this is for every person who ever felt 
as an outcast, every person who feels like a world citizen and that we're all in one thing together. My name is Meng Tian and this song is called Grow Where You Are. They say you gotta read 10,000 books to ever come as far It's the grades coming before you, building rockets and cars And great you show him to become, there's nothing else that gets you to belong Look straight ahead, live for yourself, be kind but always stand alone But on this soil we all live, same sorrows we all share No one knows how they were born, you just grow where you are They say you gotta travel 10,000 miles Never see as much as you need to cleanse your mind and get the wisdom into your touch. And the wise you shall aim to become, or you're never gonna stand your ground. People only hear what's loud, make sure there's power in your life. 